Toyota, which is the second biggest car manufacturer in the world, has revealed a prototype EV different from everything. If the new prototype succeeds and its technology makes its way into the mainstream market, the technological evolutions could transform the way the world views EVs, such like that it may convert gas engine fans to electric vehicle owners. In today's video, we are going to discuss whether Toyota LQ new updates are better than Tesla. Stay tuned to know more. The LQ concept was revealed in a video shared by Toyota on their own website, which reflects the Toyota LQ concept running on a solid-state battery. While Toyota provides vast amount of the world's gas, hybrid electric and battery electric engines, a solid-state battery is totally new for mass manufacturing. The biggest statement towards solid-state battery technology is the time it takes for a battery to charge fully. Nowadays, firms like Chevy, Tesla and Nissan have all developed cars that run well on their own batteries, normally lithium-ion batteries. But the drawback of charging is one that we still have yet to cross. Tesla has made the biggest impressions in offering us fast charging options at home with their Tesla wall connector, giving 44 hours of range for every hour plugged in and charging. Meanwhile, with solid state battery technology, batteries can go from empty to fully charged in around 10 minutes. This technology would compete with even gas powered engines in terms of convenience, making road trips a breeze in an EV. Any car lover will tell you that a modern gas engine will last anywhere from 150 to 200,000 miles without any primary rebuilds or maintenance. In fact, most used cars are priced with 200,000 miles as the operating end of an engine's life. While this isn't always the case, it has been the standard for gasoline engines for almost half a century. As EVs have evolved, their longevity has always been in question. As batteries of all kinds of applications appear to lose their power after a specific amount of charging cycles, how would battery-powered vehicles fare in the long run? With solid-state batteries, it has been calculated that a vehicle would be able to go through around 250,000 miles of use while retaining at least 80% of its power capacity. With that promise of longevity, these cars could prove to be family investments that last a generation. If you are liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Now let's continue. With solid state batteries, car designers can make cars look however they like. This could be a resurrection of automotive design with solid state batteries is easy to hide among the car without being extremely bulky and heavy. With a low profile and low maintenance battery, solid state vehicles can make automotive interior and exterior design a blank slate. And we can see some intense designs that we could have only visualized in the past. Not only would design prosper, but a 300 miles range seems to be the standard for solid state, which means that they keep up with the present lithium ion battery range that we see on the market today. With all of these aspects coming together, we may see the tide shift for electric cars. Electric cars are often only available to drivers who have a quick commute and make sufficient money to pay for the hefty price tag. But with solid state technology featuring unbelievably fast charging, we may see the world get much greener in the coming years with EVs available to more of the common people. If anyone can pull this thing off, then it's definitely Toyota. If you've watched the Toyota LQ on TV and searched for more information about it, you may have heard about some of its details. Well, you may have also been shocked to know that Toyota does not sell battery electric vehicles in any major markets outside of China. It's important to note that the Chinese government has made EV manufacturing a necessity to stay in the market. Backed by funding from its Japanese government, Toyota chose a new approach and went all in on hydrogen fuel cell vehicles like the Mirai, which can also be seen roaming around the Olympic Village in Tokyo this month. The creator of the ever popular Toyota Prius also goes on to push for a future full of gasoline reliant combinations as a crucial part of the fleet through 2050. According to a New York Times article, Toyota's slow approach towards BEVs is because of the measures that it has taken to slow down the electric revolution for everyone else. The automaker has started lagging behind in fuel efficiency across its whole fleet, as it has pushed sales of bigger trucks and sports utility vehicles, which bring bigger profit margins. Environmental Protection Agency figures show that Toyota has made very little progress on fuel economy over the past five years, going from an industry leader to part of the bottom tier along with General Motors and Ford. Well, next time Olympic swimming takes a commercial break and you see the Toyota LQ concept, you may think, it's cool, it can blink, 
It talks to the driver and looks futuristic. But you should remember, the present future Toyota is envisioning a world dominated by mixed vehicles and costly hydrogen FCEVs because the rest of worldwide automakers are clearly rushing into BEVs very quickly. Knowing about the planet's recent climate, it's arguable that the world couldn't transition fast enough. With that being said, it's time to end our today's video. Press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting stuff. Peace.